Welcome back to Sister Circle Live with an acting streak that started on the critically acclaimed drama The Wire. He's become a fan favorite on Bounce TV's hit drama Saints and Sinners. And along with his current small screen success, he's spearheading a new documentary and flexing his musical muscles with a brand new album. Please welcome the very talented Trey Cheney. <laughs> Hello. What's going on? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Good How to you see doing? I just love your spirit, you. man. How you doing, Trey? I'm good. Nice How about you? Make yeah, yourself at home. Come on, show. Wow. I, I was going to say, come on, Brim. Yeah. I, I like that hat you have on. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you done I'm, up. I'm honored to be here with the oh, beautiful wow. women of Sister Circle. Thank wow. Y'all continue to inspire, motivate, and spread positivity. And Thank I'm just, you. I'm honored to be in y'all's presence today. Wow. Today, man. You better yeah, come through with the most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Show a lot of love. Uh, yes. <laughs> but we've been down to Instagram and we see you show a lot of love. You and your wife. Y'all mm. do some big things down yeah, to the you Instagram. Know, uh, shout out to my wife, Aisha yeah. Cheney. We going on 15 years of marriage. Wow. Um, two wonderful kids. My son Malachi is 13. Our daughter's 26. Wow. Now when y'all look at me, y'all say You look 26. You look like 30. But I'm going to give you the backstory okay. on it. When I met my wife over 17 years ago, I met my eight-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. So once we took things yeah. to the next level, which was marriage, not only did I make a vow to my wife, but I made a vow to my daughter to never ever consider me her stepfather. Look I'm here to right. step up as a responsible black man and take yes. full responsibility for the family. That's why I'm rocking my dedicated brand, dedicated father, father shirt. You know what I'm saying? So yes. it's all love. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Man, you better go ahead and get it in like that. Good man. Yeah. Yes. So it's a good man, Savannah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but so, so we we also had earlier uh, this week. We yeah. also had one of your uh, castmates, Latoya Luckett, mm -hmm. on the show, and you know they were. T she was also talking about her her ma marriage. Why mm -hmm. do you think it's important for us to show positive image of images of black love? Well, it's, it's important because there's so many negative images. Mm -hmm. um, like I was, you know, speaking about, you know, going on 15 years of marriage, a lot of people say, you know, that's, marriage is hard, but marriage is actually what you make it. If mm -hmm. you want to be happy, if you choose to be happy, you're going to be happy. Yeah. So, um, you know, continuing to put out those positive messages yeah. is something that the world really needs. Yes, and I'm here to do that's it. Good. Come on, yes. Black yes. Love. <laughs> Most right, definitely. Right. Right. You know, of course, with Saints and Sinners, um, yeah. when you first got into the show, mm -hmm. It wasn't supposed to be a recurring role. Mm, yeah. Now, did you go in like, they gonna make me a regular on here? Or you did your what? performance speak um, for itself? Shout out to Bounce TV, Swirl yeah. Films, and, and definitely my, my good brother, George Pierre Cash. Yes. Mm. Uh, yeah. when Happy George, birthday, George. Yeah. When George <laughs> called me with that opportunity, you know, I was only supposed to come in. They introduced me as the character Kendrick Murphy mm -hmm. in the first season finale. And Kendrick Murphy is the son of Lady Ella and yes. Rex Fisher, which is played by the legendary mm -hmm. Vanessa Bell Calloway yes. and Clifton Powell. So, you know, once that happened, after the first season, I got the call to come back because they were going to make me a regular mm -hmm. for yeah. second season. Mm -hmm. And as you all can see, you know, Kendrick's character is broken. He wants to have a relationship with the family mm -hmm. that, that abandoned him when yeah. he was young. Yeah. So my character... You talking about locked up, stabbed, shot, and on top of all of that, buried alive by his own grandmother. Wow. So season four. Grandma is a gangster. Yeah, season four, oh you can only, y'all can't even imagine what Kendrick is going through this season. And, wow. and I'm just. How does, how does Kendrick evolve mm -hmm. in well, season four? As far as evolving, Kendrick is becoming more of an investigator, like detective, because okay. he wants to expose all of the things that his grandmother Absolutely. has put him through along with other people that she's hurt. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, with going through all of those trials and tribulations, wow. as you can see from you know the first three seasons, now with us being in season four, that's the evolution of what, yeah. you're, what you're going to see. And, mm -hmm. and, I, and I can let everybody know it's going to be a lot of drama a lot of twists and turns from my character this year. Every season I have the, the audience and the fans supporters talking. <laughs> my so I'm just honored to be a part of it. You know, yeah, full absolutely. season. Absolutely. Well, yes. listen, we have got more when we come back with <laughs> Trey Channing. Mm -hmm. Stay right there. Millions of people have been watching me on this incredible show. And my management, they, they wasn't calling as much no more. Watching him come in for one episode of Saints and Sinners and turn that into a whole two seasons. That's, that's the work of the gods, man.
Wow, right. that's a little piece <laughs> of the new documentary, yeah, Undeniable. Undeniable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are here with Trey Chaney yeah. from Saints and Sinners. Yeah, Most would definitely. you tell us a little bit about that and how did that documentary come about? Well, Undeniable came about because what I wanted to capture was after The Wire ended in 2008, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found myself at a point where Hollywood wasn't knocking on my door. Wow. And I wasn't getting no other acting jobs and, you know, when that happens for an actor, we have a choice whether to give up yeah. or keep mm -hmm. going. I yeah, chose absolutely. to keep going. I hooked up with a couple of friends of mine. We started creating our own films, getting you know national distribution deals with Pure Flix. Mm -hmm. And the Undeniable is really about never giving up. Yeah. You know, we just won uh, for Best Documentary at the Black Continental Independent Award Film Festival. Wow. And I'm just trying to, you know, spread that type of right. awareness to. So I'm yeah. sure you're looking to expand that, just telling other people's Most stories Most definitely. As well. it's yeah. in, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely trying to expand it because who wouldn't want to hear about other Wire cast mm -hmm. members who, you know, struggled after the Wire ended mm -hmm. or how, mm -hmm. how we got our role and where we are now. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, and music is a big part of who you are. And Most you have definitely. a new album coming out, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Strictly About Music, yeah. Sam. Yeah, Sam, mm -hmm. Strictly About yeah. Music yeah, yeah. is out. Um, the first single is uh, called Love For You, and it's featuring Kenny Lattimore. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. And it's, and it's uplifting women. It's about women empowerment mm -hmm. and, and really showing major love to mothers. And like I said, Sam is just collectively, it's, it's like real life stories that happen in my life. It's mm -hmm. positive hip hop. Mm -hmm. Motivational music is actually out right now. Oh, good, good, good. So okay. iTunes, Title, Spotify. I mean, all national digital, yeah. you know, pl streaming platforms. Yeah. Really quickly, tell me about your upcoming projects with Aspire. Aspire. Yeah. Me and my brother, Alan M. Brooks, he wrote it, he directed it. It's called The Portrait. Mm -hmm. It's um, about a father that neglects his son, and it's airing on Aspire August 24th during the Indie mm -hmm. Film Block segment. And I'm just so honored. I'm a co-producer on it. Alan M. Brooks, he wrote and directed a dynamite, yes. you know, story. And, and I'm just I'm just happy to be a part of it. You're just, you're just yes. blessed. Yes. Trey is everything. Ah, ah, ah. Thank you so much for yes. joining us Thank here. You. Make sure you check him out on the new episodes of Saints and Sinners at 9 p.m. Eastern on uh, Bounce. Yes, yeah. and on TV. Sunday. And don't forget to stream Trey's album, Sam, Strictly About Music on all streaming platforms. Can we give it up for the wonderful Trey Chaney? Thank y'all so much. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.